Well, if you can afford to buy a one of these mannequins in the background here, um, I would suggest doing it because it'll help you greatly in sculpting uh, the human form. I, I've got uh, this female bust uh, that I've mounted on a peg here. And uh, just like it's mounted on the uh, figure itself. Um, but on one side is uh, the muscle system and an accurate uh, creation of the skull in a, of a female. And then on the other side is uh, just the skin. Um, I've got another female one that is just the muscles on this side and the skull on this side. And that uh, one is like this one back here. You can just see the bottom part of her hand. Um, half of the uh, figure is uh, a skeleton. The other half is muscle. These are very expensive now. They weren't at... They were expensive when I bought them, but not as expensive as they are now. They're very expensive now. Uh, they got the same thing for a male one, uh, and I've got uh, a male one right there. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to start working on her head and uh, see how far I get along with this today. Time to play with some clay. First thing I'm going to do is establish the uh, eye sockets. This is the halfway point for the uh, eyes. And so I'm going to put the sockets with the halfway point going through the halfway point of the socket. Did that make sense? <laughs> I don't know. I just had uh, some visitors at my studio. It's <laughs> had a great time with my friends. Anyway, I've uh, you can hear them talking outside. I uh, put the clays together just to kind of work on positioning his head with her head. Um, I'm going to take her off here in a second and, and continue working on her. But I'll work more on her face tomorrow. Today I'm just uh, too late in the afternoon to finish it up. I got two more days this week to, to work on this young lady. Let me take her off now. So I'm going to put... Uh, one of the nice things about being able to take it apart is that you can take it apart and work on something that will be complicated to work on if you did it together. It just works better that you can work on the other side of her face without trying to do it between the figure that he, she's leaning up against and... Uh, it all it works out to the angle of her body and everything like that. And so I'm going to uh, add some, some more uh, muscle on her shoulders. Because uh, that head length has changed, which uh, has changed everything. As far as this, so now I got the shoulders um, evenly spaced out. That's a head and a half, and that's the ideal for the width of the shoulders. Now I'll put more detail in the. Uh, this arm here is going to be completely covered in with a blanket. Um, 
So I'm not going to worry about that. I just need to have the arm there to give the blanket some form. And uh, this arm will be holding the uh, blanket that surrounds both him and her. I'm going to leave that right there like that. The blanket's going to be coming around him and her, and she's going to be grabbing one edge of the blanket and bringing it close underneath her chin. And then the blanket's going to be, the, the loose part will be out here blowing in the wind. So now it's just a matter of uh, working out the uh, muscles and the facial structure and everything like that. And I've got a good start right now. Uh, I had some people come by and visit, and uh, that took up most of this afternoon, which is no big thing. I wasn't really in the mood to sculpt today anyway, and uh, I'm going to call it quits right now. All right, everybody, see you next time. Please give me a like and a subscribe, and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.